Hello everybody, today we are going to speak about how to convert any image from AI, image mid-journey or any website to 3D sequence like that. So before we start, don't forget to subscribe for my channel and like for my video and let's get started. First of all, we need to go there and launch an real engine. After that, we need to choose game here. We have third person, we can choose this one. After that, we can choose this is image, image AI, choose ray tracing, create, wait a little bit. Now we have this is empty project. So now we need to create new level. If you come here, new level, basic. So now we have empty level. So you can move with uh, W and S, D for right and A, F for left. W, A, S, D. So you can uh, move around uh, your uh, sequence. After that, we need to uh, come here in this area. We will see here shape, choose plan. So scale, uh, choose R from keyboard. Press R from keyboard and you can uh, scale like that. Or you can E, okay, you can rotate here and here and like that. So now we need to rotate here 90 degree. After that, we need to insert our image. So if you uh, go to any website and uh, mid journey or uh, any website and for example, um, natural uh, AI background okay so you you can choose any uh, background or you can uh, create your own uh, one so now add and new folder background okay so now i find uh, this uh, mid from mid journey and you can create this one or you can download it from uh, hdr shooter so now come to this area drag and drop now we have our image if you come to this area drag and drop now we have our image select this one press E from keyboard rotate it a little bit like that okay and R from keyboard scale it like that so now we have nice plan so now we we, uh, we need to create this area to be compatible with our sequence so now uh, we have a, a little bit uh, environment here and we have uh, this so now we need to add uh, ground here and some uh, meshes to this area so if you come to this area now in this area we need to select this one now here so this is our camera okay this one and if you uh, control number one from keyboard so if i'm here and press one so now we have we have the same view uh, okay or from this area control two now if i am in this area and press number two so one and two one and two so you can change your uh, camera so uh, now we need to add a little bit uh, mesh. So for free, uh, go to Windows and Quixel Bridge. So you will see a lot of uh, mesh for for free. So here, um, a huge uh, library. You can download any of them for free. So if you come uh, for building and the historical. Uh, place like that so we need to download something like that okay so now this one for example okay drag and drop here okay so we need to make it a little bit the same size of this area so if i press one now okay nice so we can come here and we need to this do the same Maybe we can make it a little bit here. Okay, duplicate it a little bit. And Alt from keyboard, 
Alt or Alt Shift, we can move the camera in the same uh, time. Okay, so now we have if we press one and uh, so now we are walk in the same uh, area. So go to Windows, go Excel Bridge. So we will see here uh, uh, surface. Okay, so maybe we can add Marvel, for example. Okay, we have a lot of Marvel. Maybe we can choose this one. Okay. So now we can drag and drop here. Wait a little bit. So now we have nice ground. Okay, now nice work. So now uh, if you come here to this area, we will see here we have uh, light and uh, directional light and all of them. So now maybe we can make this one to to be like that okay or maybe we can make it uh, delete this light okay so now we have black so if you come to this area and maybe we can add point light here look okay so nice uh, maybe we can if you come to this area window uh, project setting auto exposure auto exposure delete this one uh, okay so uh, save all now save um, okay map one now uh, we can add a little bit um, to be more uh, realistic so now if you uh, go here windows and quixel bridge uh, me because uh, this is historical place maybe we can add a little bit here in this area um so for example uh historical historical mm -mm -mm. 3d asset historical okay maybe we can add so if you look here so amazing i think it will be more than uh okay good more maybe uh so maybe something like that okay maybe we can add this one here maybe okay in this area maybe we can make it a little bit rotate it here nice uh maybe we can add another one okay because we will move with our camera like that uh, something in uh, in ground at ground Maybe we can uh, choose here. Maybe if you come to 3D asset, Roman, for example. Okay. Nice. We can add this one to this area here. Maybe we can add another one. So now, if you look here, I think uh, we can add this one a little bit smaller. This gear, make sure the size to be the same of the this gear. Okay, now scale it a little bit. We can add more. Maybe this. Okay.
okay but maybe uh, remove all of them here okay so now if you we are here now add something like that here Ninety degree. After that. We need to create our level sequence, cinematic level sequence, create, so choose our camera. So now this is our uh, first shot. So here scene camera, we are here, we can choose this one, okay, look here and we can choose lens setting to make a little bit wider okay so now we are here with our first shot maybe we can make it here this 30 Press G from keyboard. So now this is our shot. But now I want to play with and choose movement for our camera. So if you look here, we can start from this area make our camera a little bit slowly okay so now we will start from this area now from here make our transform from here and we need to make it here second and we can move around five second here nice work oh sorry i didn't make auto k here now we can come here okay now but maybe we can make it in 15 seconds like that okay so now so uh, maybe we can uh, come here and maybe we can add fire here for example so we can add it here okay maybe here in this area so
So if you look here now, scale it a little bit. Duplicate it here. Now this is final uh, result. So if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe for my channel and like for my video. See you in the next video. Take care. Salam alaikum.